Good morning, afternoon, good evening. Whenever you decide to actually watch this video, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Now, the last time I left you it was with a wick, wick, with a wick, 30 minutes, quick 30 minute video. Um, we just reached this destination. We got a quest from Levi or Levi Dryden. Drove the Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. So, um, we are supposed to be trying to help him figure out what is going on here at what used to be a Grey Warden headquarters. And it sounds like it is haunted. Or, um, also his family, um, was kind the name was kind of left, um, dishonored in a dishonored state something like that but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and figure out what the heck's going on here fall back fall back already taking the peak will not be easy my lord i gave the wardens one chance to die with honor instead they hold up like cowards we follow the king's advice then starve them out but the peak has months of supplies then we wait when they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Okay. What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it. Um, I had a vision too, Levy, Levi. How is that possible? This place truly is haunted. Looks like it. Um, the veil is thin here. The circle tower was that way too. Yeah, I imagine she'd know that. The veil? That's what separates us from the Fade and the demons. Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. I wonder if she'd know that had I not gone to the circle tower first. I wonder. Or would you even have this quest? I don't know. Um, uh, can't go through that door. So where can we go exactly? I don't. Okay. Ew. What is going on with my controls? Okay, who's healing? This guy. Some more. I shall do it. I shall do it. I will find you. I must. I shall do it. A bit more dying, please.
All right. So we've got some undead. Very well. Ooh. Antique warden crossbow. Very nice. Hmm. I'm not using crossbows, but I might give that to Liliana. All right, got some more acidic coating. Oh, let's see what this is up here. Statue. Is there anything over here besides a statue? No, it doesn't look like it. Ancient history. New quest. Okay. Learn more about the history of Soldier's Peak. You've uncovered some of the history of the base at Soldier's Peak. There may be some more to learn. And perhaps you just seek it out. Okay, well, um... So this place is called Soldier's Peak. Okay. I should have known that by the map up here. Yep. I just used my beady little eyes and red... Oh, can we go through here? Didn't look like it for a minute. Um... Okay, this doesn't look like this goes anywhere. It's a dead end. So, we need to go up. I feel like we shouldn't even walk through that, but we're not taking any damage, so there is that. Alright, um, I think we cleared everything here, so let's go in. The men's morale is low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Averna. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men, I won't lie to you. The situation is grim. Our force is outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. <laughs> So brave, even when starving. And my great-great-grandmother stood with them. It was she your great-great-grandma? It sounds like there's greatness in your blood. King Arland was a tyrant? There's so many questions here. I don't... Okay, I can't believe the king attacked the Grey Wardens. Yes. Everyone knows they were banished. But to murder them like that, King Arland must have been a monster. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Okay, so... Uh, I, I have to admit, I really don't know exactly what's going on here. What's this? This poster reads, On these grounds, virtuous men stood against a tyrant. They stood defiant and stood for their freedom. They, they died. It is signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Arlen's forces. Names of the Fallen are as follows. Captain Malo, the Black Ferret, Chair Thrower Lopez. <laughs> he must have worked at Waffle House. Sir Derek of Orlay and Jason the Longbow. Alan the Quibbler, Cartography Martyr, David the Silent, Dustin the Colorblind, Ebinger of the Bovine Brethren. Really? Feral the feral sir graham the untiring and jason sons less argonauts Is that jason and the argonauts jason and the argonauts it's a great movie okay uh langley the nefarious lucky lacuna mad dog meadows matthias the bloody mcgurk the vile mcgurk the quirk priest of mcgurk the vile priest melissa the magical male male maleficator Om the Stretched and Packrat Dirksen, Sergeant Red Morrison, Santos the Silent Skitnatars, uh, Vetriolic Eric, Weak Eyed Santos, Wellburn the Exhaustive Fire. Okay, some interesting names. I especially like Jason and the Argonauts. Okay, back to work. 
Okay. Sugar. Get this guy first. Oh. Like I said, get this guy first. Oh, okay. Another point. Yes, what's in here? Help Peltis. Alright, so we've got two different doors to go through. Mm, let's go through this one first. Um Oh, let's look at this note first. A letter from Ban mm, something. Ban Matthew Wolf. Arl Ruin and his entire family have been slaughtered, even the children. The Ruin line is no more, and the Arling belongs to the crown for now. Arlen believed Ruin was plotting against him. Ruin criticized the king's spending on Winterson. That is all. It was an idle word spoken out of turn. The king goes too far. His brain is filled with madness, and he clings to the crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, more will suffer. Your humble servant, Wolf. So, Mad King Arland, it sounds like. Okay. The chest over here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Commander Affleck? With your hat. There's another note over here. A plea from Commander Alther. Soldier's Peak is more than we bargained for. There is sinister magical work here. The men are seeing things and cannot tell nightmares from reality. The fallen return to life to attack again and again, and we are assaulted by dark creatures, the likes of which I have never seen. Whoever is responsible is intent on destroying us all. The King's army and the Grey Wardens both. Send help. We cannot last much longer, Commander Athler. So are these uh, Grey Wardens writing these letters? Commander Athler. See what you got. I need to go back and reloot the Mage Tower. I'll do that offline. Mm, forgot about that, actually. So now we have to go through this door. Anything in here before we continue on? This way? Okay. It is begun. Leather gloves, nothing else in here, no notes. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Okay, we can go slow this way. There is something in here. I saw you. Arlen Corpse? Arlen Corpse? Arlen corpse? Does that mean? Oh. I think they've seen us. Very well. Quick, we must fight. It shall be done. It is your time to die. Another Arlen corpse. What the? Am I not? Are they dead for real now? Ooh. Heavy metal shield. Uh, shall we? Alistair? Just real quick. I want to see if Alistair 
can carry this. Is it under weapons? Armor? He cannot. Okay. Is there anything? No, we don't have an upgrade yet. Hmm. Okay. This book is badly burned. You can make a word out here and there, and that is all. Oh. The door won't hold, Archivist. Almost done. The, the truth must be told. What does it matter? We're dead. Our grand rebellion so close. And to die here, a stillbirth. We never should have done it. Wardens aren't supposed to oppose kings and princes. Should we stand idly by while... Another one? Rebellion? What's this about a rebellion? If only the book weren't burned. Rebellion is against everything Warden stand for. Maybe there's other records. Maybe there's other records. We could only hope. Yeah, if this is something that Wardens are not... I mean, because they are very gray. Uh, pun unintended. No pun intended. But um, they don't generally get involved with politics like that. Like, they're... Like I've said before, their main goal is to defeat Darkspawn and any Arc... Uh, Arch demons. So, for them to get involved with going against a king directly, hmm, I don't know. The History of Soldier's Peak, Chapter 2. Learn more about the history of Soldier's Peak. You've discovered another piece of the puzzle. There must be more to this. Okay. Must be. I probably should be saving this, really. Let me, let me do that right now. Just in case, you know, just in case. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do like longer episodes because I have been splitting them up um, to like one or two hours, but splitting these up. I'm sure no one's going to sit and watch a two hour video. So I don't know. We'll see. Just let me know what you think. Um, that's just kind of a side note. Is there anything in here? I mean, that looks creepy. Nelatep Obrasuth Sifan Net Bekon. Contraste's blood! What? More of Ernus! Whatever it takes! Tele A Benfotos Fictos! Press him! Press him now! <gasps> No! I command you, fight the king's men! Fool! So much death, suffering, oh, and no oh, yes, blood. The veil is torn now. Your soul is mine, Avernus. Oh. Acolytes, retreat now. The battle is lost. Avernus! What just happened? Oh no, more fighting. More fighting. Oh, race demon! Get this guy first. No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Of course, I'm missing. Okay. Oh my gosh. Is he healing? Oh yeah, there's there's guys healing. Get these guys down. Okay. Now. How dare you? 
Get him? Oh my gosh. Still healing. The warden summoned demons. Can't believe it. No kidding. And my grandmother, she knew. Yeah, they're a dabbling in blood magic for sure. Wardens don't forbid blood magic. Anything it takes to win. Is that true? How, would she know that? She wouldn't know that though. Um, so that wouldn't make sense for her to say that. Um, we must press on. She was fighting for her life. Yeah, um, I don't know if she'd know that. Mm, I'd say we must press on. Of course. I, I don't I'll have any. My nattering, then. No, it's not that. It's just I don't think she would know that wardens wouldn't. Ooh, hello. I don't think she would know that wardens Very well. don't have anything, any issues against blood magic. I don't know that. So for her to answer that would be wrong. And then to say, I'm not here <laughs> for your musings. No, this is exactly where we're here. We're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. What's over here? I mean, we just came up. Did we, did we come through here? Yeah. Um, Save this. And then I want to look at the staff real quick to see if when or Morgan can use this. Morgan has a pretty decent staff. Okay, they she can't use us. I don't think Wynn can either. That's a no. Okay, can't use that till later. All right. Loot this and Beleon. that way at least we're getting more health poultices because we were low what is this raspberry jam the history of soldiers peak chapter three quest updated learn more about the history of soldiers peak the history of soldiers peak is starting to be fleshed out but you're missing one final clue okay we're missing one final clue um i guess here then because Obviously, you guys are going to stand up. Hello. Sophia. Step no further, Warden. This one would speak with you. You're looking mighty preserved, Sophia. Levi's grandma? Okay. Who or what are you? This one is the Dryden. This one. Sophia. <laughs> All these things. This one is Grandmother? possessed. You have slain many of the demon ilk to get here. This one would propose a deal. This one is not making any deals with demons. Levi, I am afraid your great great grandmother is possessed. That or she's really let herself go. <laughs> My great great grandmother is dead. I don't know what that is. Well, you've got a point. Um, and why should I trust a demon? What is one woman child compared to your might? Strike me down if my terms offend. A fool this one would be to betray the warden. Is there anything of the real Sophia left inside you? I highly doubt it, but I'm going to ask anyways. This one has tasted her memories, seen her thoughts and hidden places. But she is food for this one. No more, no less. Oh, you got a serious skin condition. 
Um, tell me about this deal. The soldiers peep traps me. This one sees so many tantalizing places in the Dryden's memories. This one would see the world herself. For me to be free, into the old mage tower you go and destroy. In return, this one seals the veil. No more demons, no more enemies. Your peak would be safe. Just let this one go into the world. Wait, what? So if I let her go to roam the world, she will seal the veil here at Soldier's Peak and it will no longer be haunted. And if I don't, what then? If I kill her, wait, I'm, okay. What am I destroying? What exactly will you do if I free you? What exactly will you do if I free you? This one will roam. This one will see. This one will feed. But without me, the veil will grow weaker. More demons. More misery. You choose just one of my kind. Or many. Ooh. Okay. Um, what am I destroying? The magics. All moving things. The very stone if you have the power. Something inside keeps my kind locked away. I don't know because I don't think I want to make a deal with a demon, but then I don't want like more demons coming through the veil. So it's like the lesser of two evils here. I'm here on behalf of Levi. Tell me about Sophia Dryden. Let's ask that first. This one knows all, but will only talk after the tower lies broken. What tower? Wait, what tower? No one. After the tower lies broken? I'm so confused right now. What tower? The mage tower? Like the one we just came from, Mage Tower? What tower is she talking about? I feel like I want to find out before I make any decisions. Yeah, I know I'm cheating, but I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I'm going to say that I read one Reddit post and the people were asking the same question. And basically, no one really said a, a definitive or had a definitive answer except that she drops a great set of armor and that you really should take the chance um and go ahead and kill her for it and give it to Alistair I assume it's this lovely looking gray warden armor and um also the idea that she is going around and admittedly killing people to feed off of. Maybe I shouldn't be letting her out in the world. I could just risk the fade, this place being haunted. It's fine. It's fine. You know, whatever. A few ghosts here and there, a few flashbacks. It's, it's harmless, right? You can deal with the demons. She would actively go and possess people. And I don't think I, I want that blood on my hands. So, uh, there is no deal. Then you are a fool! I am. That is fine. There is no glory in <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, Sophia. I oh, should kill these guys first. Ads. Somebody heal me? Thank you. Oh, jeez. Must have victory.
Not for nothing, but having two mages is excellent. I love it. I love having two mages. It shall be done. It shall be done. Let's loot up Sophia because I want to see this. This loo. They weren't kidding. I don't think I can give this to Alistair quite yet, but um, I don't know. We'll see. I highly doubt he can wear this stuff. Yeah, I figured. Dang it. So he's going to have more strength. Okay. Not a problem. That was the best decision. I, I honestly cannot see myself releasing a demon into the world. Not on purpose. It is begun. New codex. Sophia Dryden's journal. That is not too bad. Okay. T 21 Elu Vista. It is done. The nobles have thrown their lot in with Arland. Arlen, the snot-nosed man-child. Arlen, who did not walk till he was in his fifth year. Arlen, who had to be pried off his nursemaid's breast not two, not two years ago. Or so it is whispered. The Tyrans and the Arles believe him to be a simpleton and easily led. But I have seen something in the boy's eye, and it terrifies me. Tin Molorius? I watched the summer day processions from a room high in Port Draken. The region has me for treason, but my only guilt is of being true to my country and my heart. My guard's tongue was easily loosened with the gift of ruby ring, of a ruby ring, and I am told that the bands are fighting against my sentence. I shall pray, but not hope that it will be anything but the gallows for me. Two, pervitus. The draught was like bitter fire, but I survived. Weep for me, for I survived. Would that they had made me clean in for me, made a clean end for me. I should have died a lady, the greatest of the Drydens, not live to become this nothing, this monstrous nothing. Nineteen Matronalix. Enough. I shall waste no more time with wretched womanish lam lamentation. Death would have been easy, but fate saw fit to spare me, and I will I will seize upon this chance. The Grey Wardens are an army, and an old commander is weak. A wisp of a man. I will inspire the Wardens, and Arlen will rue the day he spared my life. Select entries from the journals of Warden Commander Sophia Dryden. So I don't still quite know what's going on. I don't know if Sophia rebelled against the Arlen because she... Because he was a snot nose. <laughs> um, something or other. Let me save. I don't know. All right. Let's continue. Ooh. It's a trap. Look there. Don't get involved. I shall do it. I'll do it. I got this. Hey now, don't cross the bridge. No, nope. Alistair, just okay. Willy nilly, just willy nilly. It's like I'm tying my shoe. Hold on while I tie my shoe. Join you in a minute. He's fine. He's fine. It shall be done. Levi, are you just going to stand there or help us out, brother? Okay. All right. Do not let them overwhelm us. Okay, come through here, come through here. Here. 
all these health poultices. We are cleaning up. Cleaning up. What is this? Ability notes? Very well. This appears to be old research of Mage Arvinus. Arver? Ar Avernus? They detailed a series of experiments in terse clinical handwriting. Day 32. The subject is not responding to the stimuli. Testing the pain threshold has uncovered nothing. Only three subjects are left. Day 82. If only I could reproduce last night's extraordinary success. Electricity is only a catalyst. The blood is the key. Day 97. Energy and blood. Repeated applications have duplicated the results. I conjecture that success can be induced alchemically. But there are no more subjects left. If only I had one more or a dozen. The things I could do. Sounds like a rantings of a crazy man. What is this? This noxious potion appears to be the culmination of Avernus's horrific research. It promises to unlock the hidden potential of tainted blood you drink during the joining. Do we want to drink it? Yes. That's a one big bottle. Oof, I'm going to regret this. I think I'm going to regret this. Oh! Pain wrecks your body. Wait, I have access to new abilities? What? Diabolist? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, achievement unlocked. But what, what did I, what did I just do? Hold the phone. Skills? D this, oh! Dark passage, power of blood, tapping the power of tainted blood makes the rogue more nimble, able to move more quickly while using stealth and more likely to dodge a physical attack. The tainted blood power of blood the rogue's blood gushes forth coating the edges of weapons with a deadly taint the character gains a bonus to damage determined by cunning attribute but suffers continuously depleting health is in return lovely so okay what's this new codex avernus notes the heck did i just do this taint allows us to sense the dark spawn the longer we survive with the taint in our blood, the more potent it becomes. Unfortunately, this corruption will eventually overwhelm the warden over time. It devours both mind and body, leaving nothing. But what if the spread of the corruption could be stopped or contained in some way? What if the warden could become more powerful without having that power kill him? How great would that power be? Would it be enough to stop the demon? So he's trying to figure out how to use the taint in the blood of a warden to live longer rather than the inevitable destruction of the mind and body. I guess the I guess that's what I drink. The joining ritual is crude. We take into ourself the blood of the dark spawn in the most obvious way as well as the obnoxious way. Most die from the corruption immediately. It is after all poison. There must be some way to refine the joining. Isolate the true power that is, in found, that is found in the darkspawn blood and leave behind the evil that kills us. I can feel the corruption starting to take its toll on my body. I must not succumb. So he... Okay, so he... Yeah, okay, I see what he's... Okay, there's too much work to be done. Through my magic, I've been able to slow its inevitable spread, but not stop it completely. I'm starting to hear things, even while awake, a voice more beautiful than any other that calls to me from the depths in my dreams. I see the black city and I am drawn towards it. There is something there, an answer to what is, to what this taint is. This taint is that we share with the darkspawn from the notes of Avernus. So from what I remember, the um, wardens, as they age, um, they start the the blood of the dark spawn starts to eat away at them more and more, and they then start hearing the dark spawn song. There's another word they call for it, but it calls for, calls to them, and at that moment they then de um, decide to go into the dark roads. I think that's what it's called. 
and basically fight Darkspawn until they, they die. That's basically how the Ray Warnens um, end their life in the Dark Roads when they start listening, hearing that song. And so he's getting the pull, this Avernus guy. And so he normally would have found himself in the Dark Roads. I, I want to say it's Dark Roads. Mm, this isn't creepy at all. I hear you. Don't disrupt my concentration. Avernus, we presume? My staff. Even now, the demons seek to replenish their numbers. Are you to thank for this welcomed but temporary imbalance? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, the old warden mage. You're still alive. Only just. I have only a short time left. Why are you here? What is your intent? Hmm. I've seen your experiments. They were necessary. Any tool, any iota of information that could defeat the fell demons was justified. As a warden, you should know that. Necessary. Having to relieve yourself after an eight-hour ride is necessary. But there's no excuse for summoning demons. Mm. Charming. Mm -hmm. He's right, you know. Um, Soldier's Peak must be rid of the plague of its demons. It must be. Agreed. This must be the first priority. The only priority. I'm here to recover the Grey Warden's base. Okay, that's my end goal, is to record, recover the base. Hmm. An admirable goal. But in order to achieve this, the demons must be cut off forever. And how are we supposed to do that? I want some answers. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. How have you survived these many years? The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic. But there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. And then what? Okay. <sighs> what is the purpose of your experiments? To stop the demonic tide, to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the darkspawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. What power? The Wardens use it merely to sense Darkspawn. A triviality. My research has discovered so much more. Hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak. With it, the Wardens could grow even more powerful. This is wrong. You know better than the demons. I have done what I must. But let me undo my greatest of mistakes. Let me cleanse this place. Then, then I will accept whatever justice you feel I merit. Ugh, can you teach me what you've learned? Well, I mean, technically, I would like to know what, he've le what he's learned from all of this. Would that be for my own benefit? Excuse me. Mm. Can you teach me? You've already read my research. Yes. But in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. Okay. I'm going to ask something else. Yes. Sophia's great grandson brought me here. Levi, go ahead. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Your family's name is mine. Proof that Sophia was a hero. The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Hmm? <laughs> and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Your call? He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. 
his heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Okay, it's just answer Levi's questions. Your great-great-grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Um... I'm sorry, Levi. Uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. Hmm. Um, tell me about what happened here. What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. Well, she's gone now. Um, okay, well, how was Arland a tyrant? He ruled with fear and poison, his treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? It seemed so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. Hmm. What happened to the rebellion? Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, the King's Guard ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. Tyrion Kuzlin? The Kuzlins almost rebelled? That's my family. Is it? You lost many family members that day. Oh my I gosh. I saw the Tyrion's head on the meeting table with an apple in its mouth. Arlen's butchers, no doubt, slaughtered enough Kuzlans to make them... Pliable. Oh my golly wally. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, I'd imagine she'd have some additional questions in regards to that, but... You had to know that summoning so many demons was foolhardy. Perhaps, but it was survival. For months. I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the Fade... That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand. But with so many variables, I suppose, calculation errors were inevitable. Ugh. I was so close. Yes, well, Manor Dryden knew of the demons. She gave the order. I would have summoned the demons anyway. Only under wardens can true magical research continue. A chance to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tevinta. Hmm. You do remember how that ended. The Black City, Darkspawn, really. Chantry Arch lies demons. told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. How do you know that the Chantry is wrong? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. I'm asking you the question in regards to that. Uh, you don't know if I believe that they're right. I'm asking you, how do you know they're wrong? All right, time for questions is over. So be it. My only request, if justice or vengeance drive you, stay your hand until the demons are dealt with. Okay. Until the demons are dead, we are allies. That will do for now. We must go to the Great Hall. There, I will repair the damage I caused so long ago. There will be peril. The demons will fight us every step of the way. Come. All right, before we go, though, I just want to see what you got in here. Some gloves. I, a corpse on spikes. I don't even want to know. History of Soldier's Peak. You've learned about the establish, establishment of the base and of its founder's last days. The records state that Commander Astorian must have built secrets into the base and may have hidden something important somewhere in Soldier's Peak. 
You've found the clues, but where do they head? I don't know. It shall be done. Heavy plate gloves. Is that it? Is that all we have? What is all this? Uh, looks like that's it in here. So, back downstairs we go. To the main hall. Is there anything here? Oh, we already looked at that. It is begun. Should probably save. So let's do that. Don't want to have to do this all over again. All over again, just in case. Okay. We must act quickly. The demons are clawing on the gates. The veil must be closed. What do I do? I will unravel the summoning circles I drew so long ago. Waves of spirits and demons may come through. Dispatch them. I will begin. So we first. I must summon the magical energies. I feel them. They're coming. Okay, so Oh, gotcha. It shall be bad. Got more hope than you, buddy. <laughs> I think we work well together. So do I. But um. Oh. Nice job, Alf. Ew. Oh, that sounds horrible. Careful. What was done? Oh, great. It is. Are we done? We are done. It shall be done. Uh, all right, let's talk to Arvinus. It's over. The veil is strong now. Stronger, at least. I said I'd submit to judgment. And so I shall. Can I be left to experiment in peace? <sighs> you must atone. Research ways to help the wardens ethically. With what time I have left, I will do this. It may take months or years for my research to reach fruition. When it does, I will send for you. Thank you for this, Warden. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old geezer of Vernus deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper research, without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. The past won't offer redemption. Redemption. Try the future instead. Yeah. For so long, I was focused on the past. On answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Hmm. Any chance I can convince you to stay on? You know I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. 
Whatever the Drydens have to offer are yours for a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. We do. Master of the Peak, achievement unlocked. Nice, and Alistair has leveled up. I will level him up later. Um, all right, so what is this? Our historian's portrait. I shall do it. We found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Asturian's times. Perhaps Asturian's historical history points to this. Recite the Grey Warden's Oath. What is the Grey Warden's Oath? And we have a treasure. Treasure! Asturian's Might. Ooh! Is this better than what I have? Yes. Shadow Belt. Definitely for me. All right, we're going to put the shadow belt on. Absolutely. The shadow belt. Where is the shadow belt? Okay. Shadow belt, and then should we give this to Alistair? Or should I keep it? Alistair has something just as good. I, on the other hand, what am I holding? The family sword. Hmm, plus two damage weakens near nearby dance. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate to do that. All right, so. Is that it? We just. We just head on out. This is. This is it. First floor. Okay. So it sounds like we have a. Wait, did we? Okay, this way. I'm stuck. Sounds like we have a, a new base of operation. It is begun. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was it. That was it. All right, so that being said, we're gonna head back to camp and um, I'm trying to think what else we should do. If we should go ahead and do some of these, well, that's, that's another main quest here. I think maybe off camera, I'm gonna go back to the circle tower, but soldiers pass, okay. Let's do this. Mm, what's this? Oh, okay. I'm gonna head back to camp. I'm gonna go ahead. I and, have been oh. studying Mother's grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Sure. Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands, but this is not it. Yet yeah, you look disturbed. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. A spell of immortality? Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Um... So, why would she risk sending you with me? I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the Tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. That's disturbing. Um... <clears throat> So 
So would you, so what do you intend to do about it? Yeah. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Hmm. That's a little extreme. It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Okay. Sure. Very well. I'll help you if I can. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then. So I must remain at the camp, confront her, and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Okay. Um, <laughs> do I have a time limit on this? Not really, but the sooner the better, no? Sure. I'll see what I can do. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. All right. I have some approval points with Morrigan, and now we have a quest to kill her mother. All right, um, I'm going to go do some housework here, meaning I'm going to clean out my bags. I'm going to level up Alistair, um, and uh, feed the dog. So I shall return. All right, we're back. And after that quick little break, I went ahead and cleared out my bags. And I've got to level up Liliana because I haven't played her in a while. So she's got some points that I need to allocate. We'll worry about that later. I want to head back to Soldier's Peak really quick because I think... I think... What are we doing? What, what is this? Okay. I don't know. I clicked on Soldier's Peak, so I thought we'd be back here. What the... Wait, before I do anything, let me level up Liliana because I don't know what to expect here. Um, let's see. Mm, let's give her expert training in combat. And I feel like I should give her some more. I should just give her another dual weapon just in case she likes to switch back and forth. Let's save it because I don't trust myself here. All right, let's go. A little Mitch match boots. Oh, thank the maker. We need help. They attacked the wagon. Please help us. Follow me. I'll take you to them. All right. Let's get them out for first. Great. Death root. Some, oh, some stuff to loot. Yeah, they uh, did a number on you guys. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, uh, yes, the assassin. I was going to say the bird's after me, too. <laughs> the Grey Warden dies here. Okay. Let's go. Uh... Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Is that Liliana? Yeah, of course. Freaking Liliana. And we've got to be. Oh! Freaking mages. No, I'm. Um. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look there, a cunning trap in the display. 
Oh, shoot. Alistair, drink. Uh, who died? Nobody. Okay, when? Drink up. Also me. Of course, I walk right through that trap. Oh, Alistair. Where's Wynn? I shall do it. Ah! Oh my gosh. Alistair, you ninny. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Hello there. Oh. Mm. Oh, what? I. Oh. Oh. I rather thought I would wake up dead, or not wake up at all, as the case may be. But I see you haven't killed me yet. I don't think you can wake up dead. You know? Um. That could easily be rectified. Absolutely. Of that I have no doubt. You are most skilled. If you haven't killed me, however, you must have kept me alive for some purpose, yes? I'll ask the questions here. Ah, so I'm to be interrogated. Let me save you some time. My name is Zevran. Zev to my friends. I am a member of the Antivan Crows, brought here for the sole purpose of slaying any surviving Grey Wardens, which I have failed at, sadly. Okay. And what are the Antivan Crows? I can tell you that. They are an order of assassins out of Antiva, very powerful and renowned for always getting the job done, so to speak. Someone went to great expense to hire this man. Quite right. I'm surprised you haven't heard much of the crows out here. Back where I come from, we're rather infamous. Hmm. So you came all the way from Antiva, basically. Well, no. Who hired you to kill us? A rather taciturn fellow in the capital. Logan, I think his name was. Yes, that's it. Of course. How much were you paid? I wasn't paid anything. The crows, however, were paid quite handsomely, or so I understand. Which does make me about as poor as a chantry mouse, come to think of it. Being an Antivan crow isn't for the ambitious, to be perfectly honest. Also, how long are you going to stay down there? So that does that mean you're loyal to Loghain? I have no idea what his issues are with you. The usual, I imagine. You threaten his power, yes? yes? Beyond that, no, I am not loyal to him. I was contracted to perform a service. Okay, when were you going to see him next? I wasn't. If I had succeeded, I would have returned home and the crows would have informed your Loghain of the results, if he didn't already know. If I had failed, I would be dead, or I should be, at least, as far as the crows are concerned. No need to see Loghain, then. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Why not? I wasn't paid for silence. Not that I offered it for sale, precisely. Aren't you at least loyal to your employers? Loyalty is an interesting concept. If you wish, and you're done interrogating me, we can discuss it further. I'm listening. Make it quick. Well, here's the thing. I failed to kill you, so my life is forfeit. That's how it works. If you don't kill me, the crows will. Thing is, I like living. And you obviously are the sort to give the crows pause. So let me serve you instead. And can I expect the same amount of loyalty from you, right? I happen to be a very loyal person. Up until the point where someone expects me to die for failing. That's not a fault, really, is it? I mean, unless you're the sort who would do the same thing. In which case, I don't come very well recommended, I suppose. I mean, that sounds like that would be the life of an assassin. That if you fail your mission, that you would automatically suffer the consequences of death. I don't know, maybe. I'm not an assassin, I don't know any assassins, but that would make sense in my head, right? You fail the mission, you die? I don't know. It could be me watching way too many spy movies. Okay, and uh, what would stop you from finishing the job later? To be completely honest, I was never given much of a choice regarding joining the Crows. 
They bought me on the slave market when I was a child. I think I paid my worth back to them plus tenfold. The only way out, however, is to sign up with someone they can't touch. Even if I did kill you now, they might just kill me on principle for failing the first time. Honestly, I'd rather take my chances with you. Hmm. Won't they come after you? Possibly. I happen to know their wily ways, however. I can protect myself as well as you. Uh, not that you seem to need much help. And if not, well, it's not as if I had many alternatives to start with, is it? All right. What do you want in return? Well, let's see. Being allowed to live would be nice and would make me marginally more useful to you. And somewhere down the line, if you should decide that you no longer have need of me, then I go on my way. Until then, I am yours. Is that fair? Very well. I accept your offer. What? You're taking the assassin with us now? Yeah. Does that really seem like a good idea? Mm. Don't worry about it. We could use him. Yeah. Hmm. All right. All right. I see your point. Still, if there was a sign we were desperate, I think it just knocked on the door and said hello. I mean... Welcome, Zevran. Having an Antivan crow join us sounds like a fine plan. Oh? You are another companion to be, then? I wasn't aware such loveliness existed amongst adventurers, surely. Calm I down there, not. walking hormone. I hereby pledge my oath of loyalty to you until such a time as you choose to release me from it. I am your man, without reservation. This I swear. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to take Zevin with us now, but we definitely will take him with us later. Going to go ahead and accept that. Alistair disapproved of that decision. I'm sorry, Alistair, but we definitely could use more people on our team. There's a letter here. Codex updated. New quest. Friends of, friends of Ren Jenny, the task was never promised to be easy. You said you could enter the Circle Tower and you were believed. Find the small paint box in First and Chandra Irving's office and deliver it to the door marked in Denerum as agreed. Or be prepared to find yourself hunted across Ferelden. Friends of Red Jenny, there is a sketched map of several doors. It requires the box to be placed on it to block out false leads. Okay. Alcultus. As you say. As you say. It's quite a bit to loot here. Wanted to get to Soldier's Peak. Um, wasn't expecting to deal with an assassin. Begun. So let's see, is that all we know? We got something over here. And a couple things over here, actually. So we got Severin, we've got um, Sten, Morrigan, mm, I'm trying to think, do we have any other companions that we, is it this way, we go this way, looks like we can. All right, gather the party back to Soldier's Peak, yep, I thought so. Doggy, hi. What's up? All right, so we've got this new storage place here. It is begun. So now I can put what is this? Glyph of Krebulosh? Letter of conscription. What is all this stuff? This is oh, this is my stuff. So I can put this stuff in here. No, I can't. Okay. Um. So the stuff that I want to put in here is like this stuff because I can't do anything with it. Stuff that even my no the mage even my warriors can't wear. Definitely want to put the Kuslin stuff in here because I don't want to get rid of that. Can't use that quite yet. Um, I'll save that I guess for Zevran because I don't know what he has. And I'm gonna see what he's got going on. He said there was another dude. Levi's nephew. Or family owes you a great deal. Sure. Who are you? 
You? You're the warden? My family owes you. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. Okay, you're a weaponsmith then? Indeed. I have spent my life studying steel, dragon bone, and more. I learned all I could in human lands, and exiled dwarves taught me more. Give me the finest metals and materials, and I can make wonders for you. All right, can I see your wares? Uh. Ooh. Silver, I don't have. Yeah, none of. Yeah, I can't. Okay, but anything. Can I use anything? These are all. These are all like. War, uh, warden, um, warrior type gear. Okay, is there? Let's talk to Levi then and see what he has. Can you talk to him? No, he's he's not. Uh, okay, just Levi. Welcome back, warden. As you can see, we've been busy. Yeah. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother Mikhail came out of hiding. Nice. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, did you tell your family about Sophia? I thought about it, but I figured that it's not a bad thing to believe that you come from a line of lions, even if the truth is a touch more complicated. Our family's belief that we were wronged, it gave us strength to make something of ourselves. So you're lying about being lying? Okay, no. No. Okay, so... The keep looks different. We've a big family. When you were away, we all pitched in. Hard to believe there were undead demons and worse around here, right? Right. Any trouble with Avernus? I've not a peep from him. Seems to like keeping to himself. But I keep telling the children to stay away from the tower. Yes, he shouldn't go up there. All right, let me see your wares. Certainly. So he's got potions. He's got two potions. I'll take that. Freeze bombs. Ooh. Silver bombs. Definitely need an injury kit. Are these expert poison making? So I can't really do anything with these. Glass. Mm, lots of that stuff. Take one of these, though. I'll take the flask. Ice band. Cold resistance. Mmm. Plus, okay, shapers. Alright, well. Spirit healer. Can we give this to... Morgan? Maybe? I don't want to spend the coin. Okay. Alright. Alright, so now we've unlocked Soldier's Peak. We've got our extra storage here. Which I, um, is nice because that way we can just put stuff in here without getting rid of things I don't want to get rid of. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And we're going to meet you guys back here next time. And we're going to continue on with our main quest. I think that, um, we will probably head off to Red Ridge, Red Cliff, not Red Ridge. That I'm thinking of World of Warcraft. That will be our next goal to tackle. And then, uh, we'll go from there. So, Thank you guys for hanging out with me. And if you're enjoying the content, please let me know below and give this video a like, you guys. I usually don't ask for that, but because I'm going through this entire series, I would like a little interaction with you guys to let me know what you think about the story so far and the gameplay and just give me a little like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Wow, I am losing my voice. But anyways, have a great day and I will see you again next time. Ciao.